Good day, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I'm your host, the Voice of Reason. So in this episode, I'm going to discuss the Grand Renaissance Dam, and you can see it there uh, on my map. Uh, it's located in uh, kind of a northwestern uh, area of uh, Ethiopia, uh, just uh, a few miles from the Sudanese border. Uh, and this is eventually uh, going to provide hydroelectric power uh, for Ethiopia and other uh, regional uh, states in Africa as well. So right now, um, the, uh, the state of Ethiopia is only able to provide electricity for approximately 44% of its population. So... Uh, Ethiopia, with over 100 million people, uh, approximately 44 million, uh, f have access uh, to electricity, which a lot of nations simply take for granted. And uh, this dam, which will be the largest dam in Africa, uh, will actually, uh, in theory, generate a surplus for Ethiopia and also provide electricity for other nation states in the region as well. Now this sounds great, but the challenge with this is it is going to significantly decrease available water to both Sudan and Egypt. So how does this affect Egypt? Again, a very another very large uh, nation state with a huge population uh, in North Africa. And uh, right now, uh, the United Nations uh, estimates that for each person, uh, approximately 1,000 cubic meters uh, of water per year, per individual, are needed. Okay? Right now, Egypt is able to provide 2,500 cubic meters of water per Egyptian. And uh, that helps, uh, obviously, uh, with uh, Egyptian uh, agriculture, uh, the production of rice, and a host of other crops. Uh, once this dam, the Grand Renaissance Dam, uh, is fully realized and is in full operation, uh, in theory, the water supply to Egypt will be cut to 600 cubic meters of water per Egyptian per year. That is 60% of what the United Nations recommends that uh, Egypt and, and other nation states should have as a, as a bare minimum. That would put uh, Egypt inside of the scope of water poverty meaning it would be only getting 60% of what it needs for its entire country per, per Egyptian. I hope that makes sense. Um, and that is, uh, is uh, catastrophic for, for Egypt. It could be catastrophic for Egypt. And this is all supposed to occur. The second filling of the dam uh, is supposed to occur in July. And that is the big concern that Egypt has right now. And I, I would have to say, from Egypt's point of view, okay, you can live without electricity. You cannot live without water. If you have a, a massive population, and uh, that population is required uh, to have a certain amount of water to grow crops uh, without areas becoming uh, unfertile, then uh, this this could become a national disaster for Egypt. And that is the concern, and that is the saber-rattling we are hearing from Egypt in terms of uh, the possible use of military force uh, against this dam. Because again, uh, it may give uh, Ethiopia and, and, and even other states in the area uh, access to a large amount of electricity uh, over a period of time. I mean, obviously, infrastructure would need to be built. Um, 
in, in terms of uh, electrical lines and, and that sort of infrastructure. Um, and that would uh, benefit the population of Ethiopia and other areas in terms of electricity. But Egypt would uh, be facing, quite literally, a, a national disaster in terms of the amount of water uh, that the, the dam would reduce to Egypt. So again, a thousand is the, is the minimum, and Egypt would be reduced to that uh, 600 cubic meters per person. And right now, it's at 2,500, which sustains the population, which sustains the necessary output of uh, the agricultural industry, which is incredibly important for Egypt. And uh, that would go away, and then alternative uh, sources of water would have to be found. And again, we're looking at kind of a quickening uh, with, with this dam going into effect in July, uh, and uh, how quickly could Egypt find these alternative sources, even if those alternative sources even exist, which they may not have the uh, the resources to uh, to achieve that goal. So again, this would this would damage uh, Egypt uh, probably more so than Ethiopia not having access to electricity.